Oh, hi, Sci-Fi Valley Con. This is Samurai Jill here with Greg Sestero. We're so happy you could make it. And there's something special going on Sunday, right? We want to talk about that? Yeah, it's my first uh, first day in Altoona. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Yes. Sci-Fi Valley Con, very cool vibe. We're doing a live screening of The Room, the first one ever uh, basically in Altoona at the convention on Sunday. Uh, there's Flying Spoons. It's a really crazy experience. I'll do an intro there. I'll be there as well. And um, yeah, it's tickets a, here, right? Yeah, it's the the best worst movie ever made. So, so they say. So you've been hosting these screenings all over the world for the anniversary of the room, but I've read that you've only watched it a handful of times. So I'm curious, is that are you like that with just that movie, or can you watch your other? Movies? So you really, even when they're great, you only watch them maybe a max of 10 to 15 times to see it with the crowd just to see how it lives and breathes with the peop with people watching it. So imagine making a movie that has three cringe sex scenes in the first 15 minutes. Probably not many times, but I do like live commentary sometimes and watch the movie. So about eight to 10 times I've had to see it. So you are now not just an actor, you're a writer and a producer, and you're working on a new movie now, sci-fi. That's your first time working with sci-fi, right? Yes. It's my favorite genre. What made you want to do a sci-fi movie? So I became obsessed with UFOs a few years ago when I was living in Arizona. I heard about abduction stories, went down the rabbit hole, the Marfa lights, the Phoenix lights, um, interviewed people that had been abducted, or so they said. And I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a UFO abduction movie. Then the pandemic happened, and all of a sudden, all these things came about UFOs. So I spent the last couple of years writing a script called Forbidden Sky, and we just launched the Kickstarter campaign. And we're going to make it in Roswell, New Mexico early next year. That's the perfect location, right? That's yeah. That's awesome. So what is your favorite science fiction story movie of all time? I would say Fire in the Sky. It's based on a real life uh, abduction in Snowflake, Arizona. Uh, the guy was supposedly a lumberjack and he got, he was drinking with his buddies and they were getting chased. He went out, he saw this light, he was abducted, disappeared for five days. Nobody believed it. The cops interviewed him. They passed lie detector tests. And the guy came back and um, talked about it. It was terrifying if you haven't seen it. Also, I love Galaxy Quest. Oh, classic. Classic. Absolute classic. That's one I'd like to see them do a sequel years later. Totally. It'd be so cool. So, I read we're getting a remake of The Room later this month. So, I we believe. did a reading for charity. Uh, it was just for charity. It's not a remake. But, but, um, but Bob, Bob Odenkirk but plays Johnny. I play Chris R. It's a lot of fun. It was like all green screen and all filmed one in one day. day. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. What was it like to, to be Mark again? So I didn't play Mark. I played the drug dealer. Oh, really? I, we had oh. to mix it up. Uh, and it was fun. We did it in one take. So, so was, that was Chris. Was that Chris the R. Chris, Chris R. R. Right, yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who plays Mark? Uh, I was a young actor who worked with the charity. Do you think he did a good job? Yeah. I mean, it's a, hey, you know what? With classic characters, there's so many different ways you can go. I heard it's it's done seriously. You got to play it serious. serious. Yeah, you, you can't know. make a bad movie tr like trying to make a bad movie. It's got to be authentic. Well, Greg, I'm so happy you're here with us this weekend, and I can't wait to see the room live at Sci-Fi Valley Con this weekend. Yeah, I don't this think weekend. we've ever done anything like that here. That's going to be Sunday, and you can only get tickets at Greg's table here. So come on down. It's going to be awesome. Awesome. Thank you for yeah, your time. Thank you. All right.